Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our next 7 to 10 days readings. This will be for Leo. Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. You can also watch this if you're dealing with a Leo. But only take what resonates. Don't force anything to fit. There are other videos on the channel you can check out if this makes no sense. Of course, check all your placements. And if you have any significant Pisces placements, my second channel that's a Pisces exclusive is in the description box below. I do daily readings over there. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much if you have. And we're just going to jump right in, Leo, see what's going on for you. The Hierophant. I get school, education, tradition, dealing with the Taurus. Evaluations coming up. We'll see if it pops back up. Leo in the next 7 to 10 days from whenever you're watching the video. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. So maybe you're doing the evaluating. Something is being presented to you, offered to you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy might be significant. Current situation, the King of Swords. Yeah, decision making. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The Star as the potential challenge, Aquarius energy. I feel like you're wondering if something's too good to be true. Yeah, look, the Tower and the Foundation. You're almost feeling like you can't trust something. I don't know if someone's trying to offer you something after you found out something about them. So it's almost like they're trying to make amends, but you're like, I don't know if I can trust you now. Here's a Hierophant in the, uh, what am I trying to say? I just, I just kept hearing reverse, reverse, reverse. And so I just forgot what I was saying in the recent past Hierophant in reverse. Okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, so yeah, I feel like something came out and it triggered the end of a relationship right now that's what you're doing that's what you're dealing with and someone's trying to offer you something so that you don't go through with it the end of a contract the end of a commitment okay if it's not marriage if it's not a contract in terms of business and collaborations something at work okay the tower with the hierophant can be corruption it can be nepotism fraud of any kind and so you're like, I'm taking this all the way to court or I'm talking to a lawyer. I'm getting out of this and I'm getting what's mine. Um, and so the other person or the other party is trying to sweet talk you. They're trying to offer you something so that you don't go through with that. And you just kind of leave things as they are because it works for them, obviously, because I feel like this could be someone could be going someone could go to jail. OK, if you take this to court and you're looking at what they're offering you thinking, I don't know. I don't trust you. Hold on. Sorry about that. My boys have lost their freaking minds. Okay. So yeah, so basically someone's trying to sweet talk you to talk you out of exposing something that you found out, taking them to court, leaving a partnership, leaving a commitment, and you just don't trust it. On the mind, the hangman. For some of you, this is an ethical dilemma because what they're offering you potentially like a lot of money. And so you have a you have a dilemma here. You have a choice to make. Do you keep quiet and let them go on with what they've been doing? Take the money and kind of look away. And it'll be up to you. For others of you, um, this could be someone offering to go to rehab. They're like, look, I'm going to rehab. I'm doing something about this. And so with the hangman, you're wondering, if you should give him, give me strength. If you should give him more time to see what they do, to see if they actually go through with it, to see if they actually recover, heal, do the right thing. Interesting. So, what's going to happen for you, Leo, in the next seven to ten days? You have the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. I do feel like you're going to be changing your mind. There could be some drama going on in terms of you leave and they come after you um, to get you to come home or that kind of thing. Because it's like you're, you're saying, I'm out of here, and they're chasing right after you. No, come on, let's talk. Hear me out. Look at everything I'm doing. Seven of Pentacles, I want to show you this. I've done this and that and the other. Or they're chasing you to throw money at you. 
be care. I mean, you do what you will. You know, I'm not here to tell anyone how to live. Um, but for some of you, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to buy your silence. So what else for Leo here? What else does Leo need to know? Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Will they keep their promise, though? Temperance. For those of you where this is to do with an addiction, you know, someone battling their own demons, I feel like they will, I feel like it's genuine. It feels like it's too much, but they mean it. And I feel like in time, they will keep their promise. In time, they will balance out. They will recover. They will overcome. But they need, I'm not advising you to be anyone's support system but they can't do it alone. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. So it's up to you if you choose to share this person's burden. Because there's a lot of love here. I do see that. And potentially children involved. And it's genuine. It's just someone being overcome by their demons. And especially drinking. Okay. But it can be anything. And I really feel like you filing for divorce because there's something where they're looking at it and they can't believe you're leaving. They're, they can't believe you're doing it. It's giving them such a big wake-up call. And they genuinely want to heal. They genuinely want to do better. Um, but they might need someone to guide them or to make sure they keep going on that track. They're willing to do it. They just don't know how. I'm not making excuses for everyone, anyone. Um, and again, it's up to you if you want to like tie yourself to this person and help them through this process. Everyone's at different places in their life and in their karma. Um, and if you are in a position where you feel strong enough and you have capacity to help this person, you can do that, okay? And it can work out. For those of you that the reading applies, obviously it's a general reading, so you'll know what the situation is for you. If this is a, a if this has happened before. And they still haven't done it and you keep giving them time and they still don't do it then they're not going to change okay this is like the first time this has happened this is the first time rehab was brought up this is the first time and they're bringing it up that will be the difference right i've looked at these centers i want to get help right it's not like you're doing it for them it's not like you're pushing them they want to do it they're doing it okay um that's where this applies Again, for others of you, I feel like someone's chasing after you to throw money at you for your silence. You'll have to figure out what you want to do about that because I hear complicit, so it's up to you. Um, and for others of you where they're not necessarily trying to buy your silence, I feel like they're trying to negotiate with you, okay? They're trying to negotiate with you. But I do see that aspect of if you are now, if you now have seen the corruption, you're being presented with an opportunity to be part of it, or at least complicit. You know, not talk about it, not disturb it, but that's still being complicit. So you'll have a decision to make here. Because I also see a situation where you're taking them to, there's a settlement. So it's not like they're buying your silence, but you get, you're getting the law involved somehow, even if it's a, a, a legal advisor, even if it's getting a lawyer and you have the initial meeting, like the lawyers come together, okay? Then they're offering you a settlement or then they're offering you whatever it is to make right what they've taken away from you or what the corrupt, how the corruption or whatever this is has affected you and impacted you. They're correcting it to the point where you're saying, I don't want to take on this animal. I just want out and I want what's mine. That's where you're going to get a settlement. Okay. So it's not buying your silence. It's making it right. And then you're still out of there because you don't want to be there. You don't want to be associated with this. It's one of them situations where you recognize that it goes too deep and you, you just don't have the resources to bring him down yourself and you're not about that necessarily. You just want things corrected and you want out, okay? That can happen, but you need to get the law involved. If you don't get the law involved, they'll try to buy you. They'll try to silence you. Uh, if you get the law involved, they'll correct the issue. They'll give you what's yours. You'll get out of there. You don't have to deal with them again, okay? 
it'll be different situations for everyone but the bottom line is you gotta you got a big decision make here leo and it's a bit of a a, a conundrum because it's not so straightforward okay but i hope this reading helps you i'm gonna leave it there watch your other placements and good luck i'll see you in the next video bye for now